Hey, how's it going? Wendell here with OurCraftSpace.com and I'm going to today show you how to make a cookie cutter. Uh, some people want, want to know why would, I, why would I even worry about a cookie cutter, but today I'm going to show you how to make one and why you would use one. So for demonstration purposes, let's just create a name. There's my name and I want to, cook, I want to make that into a cookie cutter. So I will grab an image and this is one of the images that I created uh, from a picture on the internet this picture right here and I will grab that and I'll group it and I'll send it to the back ah, what happened here undo I didn't group everything. And I'll send it to the back. Dory, my word Dory is at the front. And we will use the modify option after we select everything. Use the modify option, object, modify. It will subtract, and this won't work. This will actually just cut a hole in Dory. We don't want a hole cut in Dory, although that is a type of a cookie cutter. It's just not the one that I'm looking for. So let's reverse this, and we'll take the word Dory, and we'll change it to make it more of a cookie cutter. So what, for that, we'll use the trace function. We just simply just trace this. We don't have to get into the bells and whistles of tracing. We just trace it. And we'll pull the word Dory out of there now. And we'll put Dory, make sure she, the word Dory is brought to the front, and set that over top. And now we'll select everything. Object. We'll modify. And we'll subtract. Now this time it'll work perfectly. But then you're still thinking, why do I want that? Well, you might be able to use that for some reason. You know, to, oh wow, I got a Dory. I'm going to, you know, I can cut my kid's name out of it and, Look, wow, it's part of the word Dory. You know, I don't know. Whatever. If you'd like to, you know, if that's, if that's your gig, or if you figure there's something you can use that for, that's great. But that's not really what I'm here to show you. Let's go ahead and delete this Dory. I'm going to show you the real reason why I use Cookie Cutter. Let's move this one out off the screen. This, both of these ones, both of these I've created. So what we'll do instead, we'll just take the ungroup this Dory here ungroup we'll take the black image out right and we'll say you know I need to get, to get all these colors to make my my um, my my image my cut file the thing my scrapbook my my vinyl image that I'm going to put on a t-shirt or on on a plaque um, so what I do is I get most of my pictures or, or line art from the internet, and then like this one right here, and then I'll go and do a trace function, do a lot of work to it to create this type of a an image. We I have to make sure you know. Then you make sure, hey, you know, you know that that is my trace file. And what I'll do is I'll take and I'll just make a big box around it, just a big box. And I'll send that box to the back. And I'll take the image of Dory and I'll send that to the front. Now I'll grab both images and what I'll do is I will now I will modify and subtract. So now what I get is I get this big thing like this. You can be like, oh, what am I going to use that for? Well, let's watch. Delete that. So now I'm, I'm looking at my, my picture and I see I got yellow, yellow, and yellow. And I want the yellows all together. Maybe I'll make that little back, back fin right there yellow too. Just for shits and giggles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push down my shift key and I'm going to click on this image. And then I'm going to click on this image, make sure I get all the things that I want yellow 
included in my drawing everything that I want yellow. I want this yellow, that yellow, that yellow. I want all of these things yellow. And then when I'm done, I'll go ahead and I'll tr choose the color feature and I'll make them turn yellow. While they're all boxed in, I can now grab them and I'll move them out and I will group them. That's now my yellow cut file. I'll do the same thing with blue. Push to my shift key down, grab my image that I want blue, then I'll choose all the blue images that I need to be blue. Same thing, I'll take and I'll color it in blue to make sure I've got everything that I wanted that was blue. I will then pull it away, I will group it, and now that's my blue cut file. I will do it again for the white. I would like the teeth to be white. I'd like the eyeball to be white and the outside of this eye to be white. And I will color them white. Pull them from the drawing, group them. That's now my white cut file. I want these to be pink. Grab that one, grab that one, grab that one, and let's do them pink. And we'll group them, and those will all be my pink cut file. The last but not least, these are my lighter blue. And I, I'll group these together. I'll make them light blue, group them together, light blue. And now I have all of my files. So what I can do now is we'll, we can just see if this works. We'll use this outside of Dory here. We'll start putting our pieces back in and see how that looks to see uh, to, to build our dory. So we can build our dory with little to no problem. There's the yellow. There's the white. Oh, that was supposed to be pink. There's the pink. There's the blue. And there's Dory, and that's how you use the cookie cutter. Thank you. Have a good day from Wendell at OurCraftSpace.com.